Hi everyone, so before I get started, I just wanted to mention that I have linked the Black Lives Matter card in the description box. Please click on it. It has a lot of great resources and a lot of uh, ways we can educate ourselves. Um, they have a lot of petition links, um, donation links, uh, you know, if you have the funds, do, you know, read on some of the organizations and then, you know, donate to one, you know, to a few if you feel compelled to. It's a lot of great information. Um, they update it very regularly today. I think they updated it today, uh, the 15th of June when I'm filming this. So yeah, definitely um, please do that. It's important that we stay aware, that we stay educated and, you know, let's hope that some change will come and that these people, um, you know, get what they deserve and that, you know, justice can be served because it's just so infuriating seeing nothing really being done. Um, because it keeps on happening so yes um let's just keep us keep ourselves educated and you know do what we can um and then second i feel like i say this all the time now in my most recent uploads uh, which haven't been that many but um i just want to apologize for not uploading uh these last two months since my last upload haven't been the best uh for me personally and so it's kind of been hard to want to make videos um so yeah today's the 15th of june i want to upload this by the end of the week um hopefully sooner um but yeah it hasn't been the best time and i haven't really been responding to comments which i'm gonna try to be better at um it's just you know i haven't really had the i guess the want to because of how i've been feeling and such but um i'm in better spirits now um but yeah, I think with everything going on and just personal stuff as well, it's been it's been a bit tough. But definitely thank you for hanging on. And if you are watching this, thank you. Um, like I said, if you do comment, I will this time for sure comment uh, or reply to you. I'm going to try to go back and reply to some of the comments back from two months ago. Um, and from some other comments that I've been getting here and there. But yeah, it's just kind of a difficult time right now. Um, but... You know, I feel in better spirits now to actually film something. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm finally going to start organizing my red velvet cards because as you can see, I have some really old cards. So all the way back from like RBB. So I've been accumulating these cards and what's in here as well for about over a year and a half, I think. Because um, in this binder, I have... Well, these are my extra cards, but like here, I had no, here I have some RBB, the RBB hollow cards that come with the standee. I actually bought these back when I was in uh, Mexico for Christmas break, back when um, these came out because I, I remember ordering these um, from my grandma's house, and yeah, so it's been a minute since I have updated my binders, so. They actually don't fit here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new binder, which I didn't want to do because I want to keep all my cards together, but it's inevitable at this point with the amount of cards that they have. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into a few videos because I don't want to make a two-hour video. Um, but I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how I, what uh, materials I use to uh, put my cards in my binder and then move part of my binder here to my new one and then I'll also show you what cards I'm putting in so that's pretty much going to be this video I'm going to try to make it short and then the next part which I will probably film right after this one is um organizing more cards and such and kind of uh seeing how I'm gonna do it because honestly at this point I forgot what cards come in what order so I'm probably going to need some help in the comments uh when those videos come out but yeah, so let's just get started because as you can see, I have stacks and stacks and even like a little binder full of cards. So yes, um, let me just move things around and then I will come back and show you what I use to put my cards in my binder. Okay, so this is my uh, binder where I have all of my red velvet cards. So this is where I've had all of my album cards and then like merchandise cards. But as you can see, it's kind of getting full so it's pretty packed in here um i could probably still fit in a few pages but before it gets even fuller i wanted to 
uh, switch it to the new binder. So this is a two inch binder, I believe, that I got from Target, if I'm not mistaken. And then this new one that I have here, this is a three inch binder from Office Depot. So yes, I think they're Office Depot brand. Um, I was trying to get a bigger one, maybe like a five inch, but those are honestly too bulky for me and I don't like how it's like kind of like slanted here so I want to keep it just like one what is this like one of the openings here like this flat so yeah that's why I went with that one and I went with red the cliche you know red velvet but um it's fine so what I'm gonna do is first show you guys what I use to actually store my cards so I use the Ultra Pro Silver Series Sleeves and 9 Pocket Pages. Um, these are the ones I've been using for a while. And for sleeving my actual cards, I use the side load sleeves from Ultra Pro. Um, these go in like this, not like, you know, from the top. So I don't want my cards to get dusty, so I use these. And then um, I put them in this other this other sleeve which I'll show you guys when I actually start sleeving them but yeah it's the one that has like the little ultra pro imprint there um so yeah I use this one first and then I put it in here and then for my filler pages I've been using these just regular ultra pro the red ones um so yeah those are the three sleeves I use and the pocket pages that I use so I'm gonna start moving things around um but before i guess so i have so many cards um i'm gonna try to film putting in some new cards maybe some of the merch cards or album cards but what i wanted to do is i have this binder because i was hoping to film this sooner than i did because all the cards don't fit in here but these are basically the cards that i've accumulated throughout um the time that I haven't been updating my binder and then of course I have all the other ones that are loose um but yeah so anyways let me start changing some things in there and then I will come back and start filling in some cards okay so I have moved my merch cards into here and it honestly looks kind of empty from here from the sides but uh we'll see once i put everything in together if there's still a lot of space i might just move everything in here um because this one looks pretty bare too on the side so yeah because a lot of it was just merch um but we'll see because they have a lot of um i know they have a lot of merch they don't have that many album cards compared to the merchandise and that would make sense right but um but yeah we'll see so i think i'm gonna start with uh, the album cards and actually fill those in so because my last um the last time i put any cards were for rbb so the next release would be sappy so i have irene and yuri's here and i just need to get um the other cards from here because i put them here thinking that i would get them pretty soon or organize them pretty soon in my binder but of course that didn't happen and then the group one is here Okay, so, um, I have all of the cards here, and so, yeah, uh, I like to organize my cards by order they're released, so I like to keep all of my album cards together just to kind of keep it in uh, order that they were released in, and then as well as merch. So I know a lot of people like to do it differently, but that's just the way I've been doing it um, for other groups as well. So um, that's just the way I'm going to continue to do it. But yeah, I mean, I really like the way other people organize their stuff too. And, you know, not everybody is going to be the same. But I don't know. It's just something that I feel like I like it in chronological order. So... Let's see if I'm going to have enough sleeves because I just realized I put my old sleeves in here that I had. So if not, I'm going to have to go purchase some new sleeves. But anyways, so here's this. I have all of my cards here. Now let me just put them in order. I'm so disorganized. I hope you guys don't mind. Ugh, I'm just kind of all over the place because there's so many cards. So actually this goes here. 
So yeah, this is a sappy set. So what I'm going to do first is just sleeve them all. Um, so yeah, these are the side load sleeves. So these just, you slide them in here. And then I like to put this one, which has like the little, I don't know if you can see the little Ultra Pro Hollow thing. Let's see if I can get this right. So yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. So that's Irene's card. So let me just quickly do the rest. Okay, and so so they're all asleep. So now I'm just going to put them in their position. So I like to put them oldest to youngest and just three um, and then two. But because this one does have a group card, I'm going to um, fill up the two rows. So three and three. And yeah. That's just, I don't know, the way I've been doing it. Um, I could change it up, I guess, but I'm kind of basic when it comes to this. So, yep, yeah, there's six cards here. And there goes, finally. So... My sappy set um, because this is like a music release I put it right after whatever Korean comeback um, they released that Japanese release for so that's why I have them here and then I would just add the red spaces here so that's sappy um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleeve all of my cards because honestly sleeving all the cards in the video I think will be very boring um, but I will sleeve all of them hopefully right now and then come back and film another part to this series because I feel like it's going to be maybe three videos to fill everything in but um yeah and I'll find a better way to do this because I'm standing up and trying to like bend down to my binder is not good for my back um but yeah so I have a lot of cards to organize and i think my binders will look very nice afterwards um but yeah so let's just end this here and i also have to check how many uh, ultra pro pages i have because honestly i didn't take that into consideration i thought i had a lot of cards but um well, actually no i think i may have enough i should have enough actually okay so i'm gonna go ahead and sleeve everything off camera and then i will come back either later tonight or tomorrow to start filling everything in i think it'll be better for me just to kind of have them organized already as well and not waste you guys' time or my time as well um is the important thing so yeah um anyways if you have any questions do leave them down below because i could probably answer them in the video um in the upcoming videos that i have to actually fill these cards in just to have something to talk about anyways um thank you so much for watching and i will hopefully make this video series better anyways thank you guys and bye